I'm sure that anyone following the progress of farm spraying and spreading drones will have seen the excitement that the, the arrival of the big new XAG P100 drones have caused at Oztec Drones in Australia. As usual, Jamin and his team are right at the cutting edge, and I'm glad to say we're not far behind them. Our next container from XAG will include 10 of these monster drones, complete with full spraying and spreading systems. If you're not familiar with the P100 Pro, it's the next evolution of the big P100 Pro you see behind me. When the P100 was announced, it immediately became XAG's number one selling farm drone for two good reasons. It's got a huge capacity, but its defining feature was the separation of the airframe from the application platform. This meant that the operator could swap from spreading to spraying in less than a minute. With just one cable to disconnect, this was the biggest advance in drone usability in a long time. And the P100 Pro builds on this solid, proven platform. Remember, while drone spraying might be new in the UK and Europe, it's been standard practice in 57 other countries around the world for the last 15 years. There's over 100,000 of these drones operating on 97 million hectares of land, and that's what I mean by a proven platform. So what are the key differences between these two giants? It's really a matter of incremental evolution. Just in the same way as it is now with phone technology, it's not a complete reinvention, just important improvements where it matters most to the operator. The granule hopper's capacity is up by a third to 80 litres. Great news for anyone trying to see large areas or looking to get fertiliser on as quickly as possible. The spray tank's capacity has increased by 25% to 50 litres, which will mean fewer refills on any job. Importantly, this is backed up by an improved maximum pump flow rate, which has been increased by 80% to 22 litres a minute. Changes that will make real differences on every job. And possibly the most obvious development are the folding arms, which reduce the volume of the drone by 62% for transporting. Now, I've never found the P100 size to be a problem because all of these drones are really a two-man lift, but there's no doubt it will make transport much easier. Of course, there are lots of other useful changes in important areas such as radar and obstacle avoidance, but in the top trumps world of agri-drones, these are the standout improvements. The first P100 Pros will be available for delivery in Jan 24, so if you'd like to secure your drone, I suggest you contact one of our resellers, as I'm sure demand is going to exceed supply in the short term. I'll put links to the guys below. But it's important to remember, before you can take delivery of any XAG drone, you have to be fully trained and qualified. Our drone spraying course, delivered by the training experts at Drone Spray Precision, runs monthly at Harper Adams University. The course takes you through a series of modules covering drone safety, chemical handling, spraying operations, maintenance, and an overview of the commercial reality of drone operations in the UK. The next course runs from the 13th to the 17th of November and will be followed by one after the Christmas break in February 2024. Links to book a slot are below. And of course, if you do have any questions, drop me a comment and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Exciting times ahead.